hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you the most easy way to install ministrol 8 billion model from mistral on the windows system as quickly as easily possible all local all private and you don't need much gpu for that and i will show you how before i show you that let me give a give you a very quick overview of what exactly this model is the Ministrol 8 billion instruct language model is an instruct fine-tuned model which has significantly outperformed existing models of similar sizes and this has been released under the Mistral research license so it's not a, a free model for commercial purposes it's an instruction fine-tuned model which means that after pre-training the base model they have specifically instruction tuned it on a specific data set this model has been trained with 128k context window which means that this is the amount of data this model can take care of in one point in time it also uses interleaved sliding window attention which increases the span plus it has been trained on a large proportion of multilingual and code data it supports function calling it means that you can uh, give it a natural language prompt it is going to create a function out of it and you can specify the function or any external api which your model can call the vocabulary size of this model is quite huge around 131k and it uses a new taken version 3 tokenizer i already have covered this model in great detail yesterday in this video where you can check it out on linux and we have tested it out on various benchmarks but the purpose of this video is that if you have lesser vram and you still want to try out this model then how can you do it on your windows operating system and that is what i'm going to show you the tool which i'm going to use for this purpose is our um, very dear olama and we will be using a quantized version of this model directly from hugging face and i will show you how if you don't know what olama is if you don't know what hugging face is please go to my channel and search it there you should be able to find heaps of videos around it now i don't have olama installed currently in my system so i'm going to first show you how you can get it installed locally on windows the installation can't be simpler all you need to do is to go to olama.com click on download and then you see this is a windows system and it requires windows 10 or later let's click on download for windows here and you can see that on the top right it is downloading it the size is just close to 700 mb it is already done click on it to start the exe and the executable installer will start shortly and you will get a screen like this click on install and it is going to install it on your local system make sure that you have an admin or installation rights on your local system let's wait for it to get installed it takes around one minute or maybe sometimes two minutes not more than that and while that happens let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page it is resilient it is reusable and it structures output accordingly so do check them out and i will also drop the link to their website in videos description okay let's go back to our olama stuff <clears throat> it is almost there and the olama is installed the installer window has vanished and now just simply click here and then type cmd press enter from here you can first in order to check it you can just say olama dash dash version and there you go so you have this version here you might get this client version warning for that you would need to go to your environment variables and then set the pass to your uh, current olama version and for that simply you can run this command where olama this is going to tell you where olama is installed so it is on the uh, local system you can simply either copy all of this path and then 
again search for environment variables edit the system environment variables go to environment variables and then you can just simply go here and check the path click on edit and just search for olama where olama is pointing to and if it is pointing to the older version you just need to update it so just like i have just added the paths here to the olama just to make sure it is pointing to the latest one and then just need to click ok ok here also you can also check for admin variable but i think that system level should be fine and then click ok close your window and then you can relaunch your terminal window so our olama is all set and now we need to run ministral model now the whole big ministral model is quite big right you can't you need to have gguf file or quantized version of olama model in order to run it for that go to hacking face and then just search with ministral and you will see that few people already have created the gguf file like this one bartowski and then and i will drop the link to it in video description for that all you need to do is to copy this repo name just click here and this has been copied go back to your olama or terminal window just run olama run hf dot go slash paste this whole path here colon and then go back to hugging face scroll down you will see there are a lot of quants available quant quant simply mean that uh, instead of representing the model in full 32 bit you can either represent it in 16 bit 8 bit and then um, 4 bit and so on and so forth and as uh, you know you lower the quant level the model size decreases so you need less vram but the accuracy of model decreases with it so you see the model file sizes are decreasing normally what i do i go with q5 km this is a good balance between quality and the size and you can run it on around 8 gb of vram easily so but accordingly if you have lesser vram you can go with it so just because i just want to show you how you can do this and download it so i'm just going to go with the smallest available so if i scroll down you see that there is a q2k it is still, still around 3k of size so just copy this quant level q2 underscore k go back to terminal and paste it after your quant press enter and it will start downloading your model so olama is downloading the ministral model it is going to verify the checksum and then it is going to run it on your local system that is how easy it is to download install and run your ministral model on windows all local all private on less vram you know that is all you need to do so as usual olama has pulled all the layers and olama has verified the checksum everything is good olama is running your ministral model here and you can just start talking with you and it is all running local on your system you can keep talking with it also uh, if you don't want cli if you want uh, any graphical user interface then for that just go to my channel and then just search with open sorry let me click here open web ui and you can just use this open web ui and run it easily or i just did a recent video this one just six hours ago where you can do the same thing where you can run this hugging face model directly in open web ui it is going to run all in gui you can install the same in the windows very easily it is one click install and this is how easy it is to run it in cli in gui on windows and you can just play around with it all local all private so that's it i hope that this was useful if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching